Baltimore. How many Baltimore? One Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. Why you say that? Huh? Why you say one? One Baltimore Christmas. One community. Not a color, just a community. There you go. Thank Nazi Germany tyrannized homosexuals, 
Jehovah Witnesses, Soviet prisoners of wars, Polish nationalists and resistance fighters, and millions died as a result. Elected by German people in 1933, the Nazi Party quickly instituted a totalitarian regime built on suicide and Chocolate, raspberry, this has a little raspberry on the top of it. So you got a bacon in here? You cooked it? No, we baked them. Okay. So, can, oh, can, can you let us know what's going on? What, what do you mean? Like, baker, you bake for people and stuff We like make that. healthy vegan treats for people, and we think that, you know, it's you're going through something, then we're all a little happier when we've got something nice to share with people, give people a sense of feeling supported and comfortable. Right. So where you from? Here. Yeah. Okay. So, so people hang around here, and that's why they're out here tonight for the candlelight vision? Yeah. I mean, this is definitely the candlelight vision. But what happened? Yesterday? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And the, Early last yesterday morning in Orlando. What's your name? My name. I'm Larry, the celebrity cab driver. Okay. I have I'm a, Susie. I, I have a talk show called Taxi Talk. Oh, yeah. Taxi Talk Radio. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. Yeah. I'm the spokesperson for all the cab drivers in the state of Maryland. Oh, that's very cool, actually. Yeah, I didn't know that they was having this. A friend of mine told me. I'm out here, that's why I'm, you know, recording. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important when things happen when people yeah. come together. Yeah.
All right, so we're again going down the list. Please show some love for Janae Kelly. I don't have very many accolades to my name or my identity and what I do or how I live in the city, except that I um, had a thought about how great this city is. And we always laugh about how it's on our benches and how, you know, we hear it on the news when there's a new development arising that separates us by class, that separates us by race, that Baltimore's the greatest city in America, but it really is. I stood in the crowd amongst you. I'm a black woman, I'm a black queer woman. I stood next to someone who was blind. I stood next to someone who was trans. I stood next to my friends, everyone who was in love with each other in love with this moment, but yet again, Baltimore united in grief, in the struggle of our identities, of making ourselves autonomous from war, from every fucking evil thing in this universe. We're united together today in grief. And I want us to be united in love. I want us to be united in this blessed moment where we have to... You know, Toni Morrison once said that um, it's not enough to just free the self and how we take ownership of that freed self. That's the most important part. And last night, I thought about how I went dancing with my friends when I lived in D.C. How, you know, someone coming up to me and being like, yeah, it's my life. And I'm like, yeah, hell yeah, I want to dance. I want a bachata, I want a merengue. Dancing with my friends and, and me going after to the pupuseria in D.C. after on U Street was so fucking important to me. It really was. But knowing that in Baltimore tonight, you guys are united, and that we are sharing this, and we're having this, it's so important to me. I went to a huge phase after college, so I was, I wanted to, I wanted to feel like I didn't want to be talked about, I don't want to be critical. And then I got to the point where none of that matters. If I wanted to truly pursue my unhappiness and be exactly who I want to be, then none of it can matter. I have to shine as bright as my life shines. That I think that's just what they were doing in my life. Finding where their life shines to be honest. Uh, you have to be straight to me, though. Because I often feel we uh, learn the most from people than uh, we think, or uh, myself included, we think we're not being watched or anything. Uh, and this is what I wrote. Dear pros, I will consider you all pros for tonight. <laughs> I write to you with a heavy heart in the wake of the tragedy in Orlando, Florida. I could continue on with my feelings of grief, my declaration of support, and or my views on how the largest mass shooting in history could possibly have taken place in 2016 in the United States at this specific time. Instead, I wish to leave you with action, what I, and I urge all members of Iron Crow Theater, will do. I want to urge all of us to join together with the Baltimore LGBT community, our allies and families, in attending the candlelight vigil being hosted by the GLCCB, Free State Maryland Equality, as well as the Health Center at Chase Brunson. You can find all the details of the vigil on our website. I have temporarily disabled the Iron Crow Theater's website, and it strictly directs members to the information related to today's vigil. We will continue with that temporary shutdown with an in memoriam after tonight's event. The website now directs again to that information. Furthermore, we will be rescheduling our campaign to launch during Pride Month to raise funds for movable feasts here in Baltimore. I am Pro Theater's first nonprofit partnership back in 2009 and focused strictly on the solicitation of funds to aid the families of those most impacted by the tragedy. During Baltimore Pride in July, we will also pay special tribute and remembrance to the event this month with specially designed t-shirts deviating from our initial design 